Hello everyone, my name is Przemek Chojecki and you're watching my YouTube channel. This episode is about building your portfolio of data science projects on GitHub because this is one of the most important things if you want to push to your career, find a job in data science or simply learn even more because this repository will allow you to collect all your data on your previous projects uh, see your progress in terms of like how much code you understand, what concepts you grasp. Uh, yeah, and this is the perfect way to show that to other people when you are applying for jobs anywhere actually. So first of all, if you're just starting data science, because th this is targeted to you, you're, you're just a beginner, you probably went through a couple of courses, uh, you have no idea where to look for. So GitHub is a repository where you can hold your code for free. Uh, it's available from any device, anytime, uh, and just perfect to show on your CV because this will allow recruiters to uh, see what kind of projects you were involved in, what kind of things you tried to do by yourself, what have you learned in the past, and actually they will be able to ask you very precise questions, uh, which show you expertise in the end, will show your, your expertise in the end. Uh, but remember that you shouldn't be co just copy simply code from other people, even though that's a natural way to start. Uh, the best way to start is actually looking for a database which is of interest to you. That might be anything from like flowers, stamps, collectible cards, video games, actually anything. Like for example, the results of the last tournaments in Do Dota 2, uh, comparison of players, player skills, stuff like that. Uh, and then if you are able to actually collect all the data, you can start experimenting with those. And this makes for a perfect story because uh, first of all, you can have this database which you will clean. Uh, you will try to do a little bit of classification, maybe put some neural networks in it, uh, if the database is big enough. Uh, and this will allow you to show like very basic skills you have with data science and machine learning at the first time. So this is really important. If you feel a little bit more uh, mature in all those steps, then you probably would go to Kaggle, uh, www.kaggle.com to look for databases which are uh, in competitions. You can either start uh, doing one of the competitions yourself or just simply download the database and try to play with that around. Uh, that's also a great way to start because you have great database, quite big most, uh, most of the time, and you can start experiment with different kind of algorithms and learn this way. So that's always the best way to uh, to learn at the beginning, meaning you have a database, you have a goal in your mind, like for example, looking for the best player in Dota or like comparing what's the cutest flower uh, which, which grows in Asia, whatever it is that you can think of. Uh, and actually that, that might make first of all for the perfect story and second, it can really hone your skills along the way because you will have this goal in mind and then you go on like Stack Overflow, learn on different articles in different places on how you can arrive to and get this to this goal to actually have something really measurable. And then if you do it by yourself, then you'll also be able to answer the most important questions you will be ever asked in any kind of technical interview. That is, what was the hardest point the hardest part of the uh, of the project was the hardest point uh, and if you you've done the project yourself you will be able to tell precisely that this was the hardest and actually everyone expects you to actually have th this hardest moment that uh, it was hard to overcome uh, they will ask you about what was the hardest then how did you overcome it what did you learn what was the most exciting part of the project so if you were doing this project for your own pleasure and if that concerned the hobbies, your passions, then you will be in a perfect spot to answer all your, those questions flawlessly without any problems. Yeah, so go on GitHub, see what other people are actually doing on GitHub because if you start reading about anything like Keras, TensorFlow, Neural Networks, uh, Deep Learning Algorithms, Computer Vision, whatever it is, then you find plenty of libraries plenty of uh, GitHub repositories online for free to download, to go through, scheme and learn from those. And you can take different pieces and do something for yourself. It would be cool also to other people. Thank you for watching this episode. If you have any questions, please write below. Please subscribe to this channel and see you in the next episode. Thank you.